How was the company union formed? How come you got one? Oh, well, <laughs> that's interesting. They, they had uh, quite a system worked out. Uh, uh, there were certain uh, legal firms in this province that uh, were well connected to the social credit government, uh, uh, who were very instrumental in helping uh, form company unions and setting up constitutions. Uh, we didn't see the, the, the uh, legal guys coming, coming down at that time. What the company did was uh, plant people right in the plant. They hired people. They, they, they hired people who were, uh, uh, fact, they, they, uh, I could, uh, I know some of those people that at that time were traveling around from one plant to another, uh, forming company unions. Uh, it was quite a system, and all of a sudden, overnight, there was a meetings being called and constitution put in place and cards being signed, and and of course the company was bad mouthing uh, unions, and uh, you should have your own thing here, and we'll get along fine. And well, the the guys bought it. In fact, uh, we ended up there was a vote, and uh, I think uh, there was three votes for the union. Uh, uh, I was one of them. I, I knew that. <laughs> but uh, so that was pretty disappointing. But uh, anyway, uh, we didn't give up and uh, it didn't take long. They, that, that company union signed a sweetheart deal with the company and uh, uh, another year went by and uh, they had to get a new contract. Well, uh, some of the, there was a lot of good people in the plant that really wanted to do, do things that were right, and in fact, some of the leadership of that company union. And uh, they realized they weren't going to get anywhere. So uh, their minds were changed, and, uh, and the, uh, then the campaign was on, and uh, we in fact overthrew that company union and got the union in, in spite of Blenner Hassett. <laughs> well, you had... Uh the uh, there was a vote, and I understand that the well, the executive of the company union were favorable to the union. Oh yes. Yeah. But they, some of them got a little scared at the end. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. They get they get scared. But well, uh, didn't you have uh, the former uh, Medicine Hat mayor, who was mayor longer, I believe, oh. than any other mayor in Canada, Ted Grimm in your union? Yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's true. Uh, Ted, uh, I, I was a process oper uh, operator and uh, uh, Ted was a uh, uh, lab technician. Uh, after the, we changed over and got the company union uh, gone and uh, then there were a change of officers and uh, I became president of the local and, and Ted was the chief steward. And uh, we had a pretty uh, uh, fine relationship going as far as keeping the company on their toes and uh, we really didn't back off from anything and uh, we put, uh, built a pretty pretty good local union down there. Yeah. Well, commercial solvents have, was, were, and that was the first plant, wasn't it, organized in the world? Oh, the first one in the world, yes. Uh, they they had uh, they had quite a history of uh, anti-union activities. In fact, they had a lot, a lot of uh, quite a history of uh, criminal activity. Uh, I, you know, so many years ago now, I don't even remember all the details. But there were uh, people uh, making deals, uh, selling stuff to uh, farm groups in the United States. Uh, uh, non-existent con uh, things and uh, and people that were involved uh, and uh, about to expose them, uh, some of them mysteriously died. And I know there were a couple of bodies exhumed, uh, uh, and they found there were bullet holes in their back. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I, like I say, I don't remember all the details at that time, but. Uh, but they, they, were, they were people involved with commercial solvents. They, they weren't a very, very nice outfit. 